Alright, hello guys, in this video we're going to be talking a little bit more about that snowstorm that's finally making its way into the northeastern United States. We're going to go over our final snowfall forecast towards the end of this video. We're going to talk about our advisories, then let's take a look at some of the shorter range models, and then we'll finally get into that snowfall outlook. Now, before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to share this with your friends and family if they do live in the affected regions, or if you think they'll find it useful or interesting. Now, let's get right into things. First things first, we're looking at our current watches, warnings, and advisories here, our current hazards. You can see there's plentiful amounts of winter weather advisories indicated by those purple colors. And in the pinks, we are seeing winter storm warnings. So for areas in central Missouri in through Illinois and Indiana, we have one. And then there for the southern Rockies as well, and a little bit of Maryland there as well. Winter weather advisories are from basically from Massachusetts all the way down to Oklahoma, Texas, and the four corner states. So we have a wide swath of those. They're pretty plentiful, like I said before. Now, let's get into our little surface map here where we can show you guys what we're expecting as far as precipitation types. Now, this has changed a little bit. You might be thinking, oh, he's just reusing this map. I actually change this a lot. You could compare the two, but believe me. Uh, in our lighter blue here, we're expecting some snowfall, not the heaviest amounts, but maybe a few inches of snow. In the darker blue, we're expecting most snowfall out of the entire thing the most pure snowfall because i think in some of the purple colors we will see a lot of heavy snowfall but there will be some mixing issues at some points that's why i made it into the purple color and then in the purple color we're expecting a mixed mess lots of mix not pure snow lots of different precipitation types it's going to be a messy messy storm and a lot of people in this could overperform certainly now we're about to take a look at our exciting futurecast radar from the rgem model which is going to give us a very accurate depiction of at which hours we could be expecting to see how much snowfall for certain areas in the northeastern united states now taking a look here at our first frame this is right around now as i'm making this video we have some snow showers going on for Pennsylvania, Maryland, and West Virginia there. That's pretty far south. We're going to be seeing some rain and mixed precipitation that far south, but right now we're getting snow for those areas. Let's go ahead and move on one frame, and this is going to be going towards this evening. So this is going to be, I would say, about 8 p.m. tonight on Monday, December 16th, and we're going to be heading into the December 17th by this time. But you can see that those areas that are receiving snowfall around now are in the pinks and purples by this point, indicating we're seeing sleet, freezing rain, all sorts of just a mess in there. But central Indiana and to central Ohio, we're dealing with moderate snowfall, and that's actually an area where we expect to see quite a bit of accumulation actually as well. Now, by time we're into around 2 a.m. tonight, so heading into December 17th, we see moderate to heavy snowfall there for the northern half of Pennsylvania and that northern fourth, I would say, of New Jersey as well. And some areas in Long Island alike were all receiving moderate to heavy snowfall. Some areas receiving very heavy snowfall by this point. But again, those pinks and purples are very plentiful in the southern portion of Pennsylvania, especially and into central New Jersey. And that's really going to mess a lot of stuff up. As far as accumulations, if you already saw snow by this point, if you're seeing rain, obviously that's going to melt a lot of that down. And that's why I called it a mixed mess, because it's just going to be a messy, messy situation for a lot of folks during this storm. Now we're about to move on further and further into this radar model run and we're going to start to see southern New England and Boston receive moderate to heavy snowfall, which is going to be very, very exciting to take a look at. As you can see here, this is by about 6 a.m. on December 17th. This is going to be Tuesday. Uh, so tomorrow from the time I'm making this video and we start to see that snowfall enter Connecticut and Rhode Island even the southern portions of those states but again that mix is going to start heading further and further north but we see moderate snow from the Finger Lakes regions all the way over to Albany and into the western half of Massachusetts by this point so we're seeing a good swath of moderate to heavy snow which is going to start to accumulate very very quickly and it's going to help us start to get some of those upper end amounts which we'll talk more about in the total snowfall forecast obviously uh, you'll be able to see where we expect the bullseye to be because the models are a little bit all over the place with this one they have been since the beginning of it but uh, we, we think we have a really good idea of what's going to happen by this point. Now we're going to move on to about 10 a.m. on December 17th still, and we see Boston start to get that moderate snowfall, so all of Massachusetts, but you can see the southern half of Connecticut and Rhode Island by this point are in the pinks and purples, so they're getting that mixed mess by this point as well, uh, and that was to be expected, but... 
Basically, to the north of the Pennsylvania-New York line and the Connecticut-Massachusetts line, we're all snow. And to the south of it, in general, we're having some mixing issues. That's, to this point, by 10 a.m. tomorrow, what I'm seeing on the models here. Now, as we head on towards later into the evening on Tuesday, maybe late afternoon, early evening on Tuesday, we start to see moderate to heavy snow from Albany in through Massachusetts and then in through Boston, and it's becoming heavier and heavier. This model is indicating that it will be heavier by this point, so later in the day tomorrow for areas in central New York through Massachusetts and southern Vermont and southern New Hampshire as well, getting some pretty good snowfall. We will be getting more and more snowfall, but we see rain and mixed for northern New Jersey, southern New York, including New York City, uh, some of the northeastern portions of Pennsylvania, and then all of Connecticut, all of Rhode Island, and the, the very southeastern regions of Massachusetts as well. All of these regions are having severe mixing issues, and it's really going to hinder the accumulation possibilities for those regions. Now, we're about to head on towards the tail end of this radar forecast. We're going to start to take a look at who could see that last swath of moderate snowfall as cold air re-enters, and we could see some back-end snow for a lot of areas there in New England. All right, so as you take a look here, this is going to be by about 8 p.m. on Tuesday. We still see that moderate snowfall going on for Massachusetts, but we see that cold air behind the system. We're starting to see mixed precipitation re-enter more areas in New Jersey and Connecticut, trying to switch back to snow by this point. The cold air is re-entering. We see Portland, Maine as well getting moderate snowfall by this point, which wasn't going on the whole time. So we will see some back-end snow for some of those areas, but Vermont... Most of New York State as well is still receiving snow showers by this point, but really the moderate and heavy snow is done for a lot of those areas. Let's move on another frame here, and this is going to be later heading into the night of Tuesday into Wednesday, December 18th, and we see Boston switching back to some snow in Connecticut as well in New Jersey. Again, I was talking about that back-end snow. Could be sneaky if we see a little bit more precipitation. There will be cold air towards the end of this, so a lot of areas might get an inch or two of snow on top of that rain that fell. So if it starts to rain, don't get discouraged because a lot of areas are going to switch back to snow towards the tail end of this storm. And as we head on another frame, this is going to be by about 12 a.m. on Wednesday. So just switching from Tuesday to Wednesday, December 18th. And we see Boston still snow. But really, there's just snow showers all over the place. And we're going to take a look at our last frame here, which is going to be by Wednesday morning. You can see that there's pretty much just a few isolated snow showers. The main reason I wanted to show this one is because we will have some lake effect snow going on after the fact on Wednesday, December 18th, which is going to lead to a lot of accumulations for a lot of those areas, obviously. But on my total snowfall map, you will not see that taken into account. I just wanted to mention that. All right, now we're about to take a look at our modeled guidance for total snowfall, which is going to be very exciting to take a look at multiple models and their idea of how much snowfall we could expect in multiple areas. First things first, here's our RGEM model, which is the one we were already taking a look at. In those lighter blue shades, we can see an inch to three inches. Uh, it's going to be, you know, some of these areas are receiving moderate snowfall, but it'll be a pretty light snow event for you guys. But as we head into the purples, that's where we're looking at three to six inches of snow. And in the pink colors, that's where we're potentially looking at six to ten inches of snow. So in particular, I think the areas that could expect the heaviest snowfall at this point are just to the north of Boston in Massachusetts and possibly heading over into Albany, uh, into the state of New York, obviously there. Let's take a look at one more model. Well, we're going to take a look at two more actually, but here's one of them, the NAM 12KM model. And this one has the snow a little bit lighter and a little bit more spread around, uh, which is interesting. The RGEM, in my experience, is the best model that you can find out there. It is so accurate in the short range typically, and there won't be a more accurate model, but it ranges event to event. So sometimes the RGEM model will be wrong, but more times than not, it's actually correct. But we, I do like to take into consideration the other models, obviously. And then last but not least, here's our GFS, which looks a little bit more like the RGEM, but it's still just spread apart just like that NAM model. All right, now let's take a look at our super interesting total snowfall forecast from direct weather here. Starting out with our first layer we have our dusting to three inch layer, which is going to be from Ohio and Michigan in through Pennsylvania into New York State and all throughout New England. We see those areas in southern New England right along the coast not really getting too much accumulation. It's just going to rain far too much, and I don't really think we'll get anything on the ground. Let's add our second layer here, which is going to be our three to six inch layer, which extends throughout all these light blue areas, Cleveland up through Buffalo, Syracuse, Albany, and then into Boston and Portland as well. And then our third 
uh, but not least layer here, which is going to be our 6 to 10 inch layer, which I think will be, again, just to the north of Boston, to the north of Scranton, and probably right through Albany, maybe the Pennsylvania, New York line up through into Albany, and then back through the borders of Vermont, New Hampshire, and Massachusetts. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it really, really interesting, and I also hope that you'll share it with your friends and family that do live in these areas, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.